What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome, consider subscribing. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make homemade trout dough bait that actually floats off the bottom. Stick with me, let's go. First thing you're gonna need, some good old all-purpose flour, some all-purpose flour. Second thing you're gonna need, some yellow cornmeal. Not too much of this stuff though. Too much of that'll make it soggy. And then some good old granulated garlic. You know them trout love that garlic. You're also gonna need some miniature corks. Corks for bottles work. All you gotta do is throw them into a little blender, blend them up, not too fine. Make sure they're a little chunky and we're gonna throw that in to the mixture as well. All right guys, this is really easy to throw together. We're gonna start out with our all-purpose flour. I'm gonna give it about a half cup of flour. We're going to give it no more than a quarter cup cornmeal because this cornmeal will soften it up, cause it to fall off the hook real easy. We're just giving it for, we're just putting it in here for some extra scent. And then the good old garlic powder. We'll throw probably about an eighth of a cup in there, maybe a little more, it's all good. Now, here we go. This is some blended up cork. This is what's gonna help it float off the bottom. Now we're gonna add the same amount of cork as we did flour. So we're gonna add half a cup of this to the mix. Give it a good spin real quick. Now this is gonna make it a browner color than normal, which is fine because I found that this is like the same color as what they feed them at the hatchery. Some sort of brown mixture. All right, so now we're gonna add some water to it. We're gonna get it to a doughy texture. We don't want it too thick. We don't want it too thin to where it sticks to our hands. We just want it like a Play-Doh context. So here we go, let's add some water. Just a little bit of water at a time. It's probably gonna get too thin, get too sticky, and then we're gonna have to add some more flour, which is just fine, no big deal. Let me get in there with the hands. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. Probably needs just a little bit more flour. It's still a little sticky, so we're gonna throw some more in there. Don't need a whole lot. Just give it a good mix. There we go. So you're pretty much left with a bait kind of like this. Now you could take it out there just like this. You could throw it on a hook, try your luck, and it will float but odds are it's gonna fly off the hook because it's just, it's a little too soft. I've seen videos where people use it like this and yeah, like I said, it does work. But at the end of the day, we're here to maximize the amount of time we're in the water with our bait. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna boil mine. I pitch them off into little pieces, probably about the size of a quarter or a nickel, maybe a little bigger, depends. And then we're gonna throw it into some simmering water. We're gonna let it cook for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Then we're gonna take it out what that's gonna do is cause it to kind of, well, cook on the outside. And it's gonna help our bait kind of stay on the hook longer, let us sit out there longer, so we're not trying to worry about it too much. All right, let's get this water boiling. All right, now that we got our water simmering, we can go ahead and take our big chunk of dough we got here, go ahead and pinch off small pieces, roll them into a little ball, or throw them in the water. Like I said, they'll only sit in there for about a minute, maybe two. You don't want it a rolling boil. If you overcook it, it'll pretty much uh, just disintegrate. Don't want that. Go ahead and throw a bunch of little pieces in there and then we'll wait to take them out. Now you're gonna see that as they cook, they're gonna float to the top, which is exactly what we want. Once they start to develop kind of that harder outer shell, you can kind of feel it when you hit them or poke them. Then you know it's time to take them off. Like I said, about a minute, maybe two, depending. I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna set them on a paper towel, let them dry off, let them cool off. And we'll start on our next batch. Same thing as before. Small chunks, pinch them off, roll them up a little bit, throw them in there. I think I can fit the rest of this in this little next, little next little batch. All right, there we go. Wait for them to start to float. All right, that's about good for these. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and let him cool off for a while. In the meantime, so I made some of these earlier and they've cooled off to room temperature and I got them right here. These little guys right here on the table. And I'm gonna throw them in a glass of water just to show you guys that they actually do float. Let me grab my glass. All right, here we go. Here's the batch I made earlier. Glass of water, I'll show you guys that these actually float. Bam. Floats right back to the top. Probably looks a little wrong them floating back up. But you know what? Bet the fish will eat them. But yeah, there we go. Homemade trout dough bait. That floats. Finally figured it out. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.